Okay, we're going to continue learning and reviewing about slope of a line, and we're going to watch a couple videos today. First one is Slope Dude. Welcome to the adventure of Slope Dude. Meet Slope Dude. He loves to ski. We are going to follow him and he'll teach us some important aspects of slope. This is the course he's skiing today. Again, what he says will teach us about slope. You need to remember that Slope Dude always skis toward the right or eastward. When he starts out, he's going uphill. It's hard work. He says puff, puff, positive as he goes up the mountainside. Puff, puff, positive. Puff, puff, positive. Puff, puff, positive. Now he's at the top. It was puff, puff, positive all the way up the mountain. But now he can look forward to the downhill. On the way down the mountain, he says, nice, negative. Nice, negative. And now, after the downhill, he's in for the hardest part of the ski run, the long, flat part. He says, this is zero fun. This is zero fun. This is zero fun. This is zero fun. And as he finishes the flat part, he doesn't see well ahead, and all of a sudden, he comes to the edge of a cliff. It's straight down. So frightened is he that he says the worst curse word possible in math and in algebra. Undefined! This has been the Adventure of Slope Dude. Remember always what he said during his ski trip. Up the hill or up the slope, he said, puff, puff, positive. On his downhill run, he said, nice, negative. On the long, flat part of the course, he said, this is zero fun. And finally, when he went over the vertical cliff and went straight down, he yelled the worst curse word of math and algebra, undefined. The uphill is a slope with a positive number. The downhill is a slope with a negative number. The flat part is a slope of zero. And the straight up and down or vertical part is undefined. This has been the Adventure of Slope Dude. Thanks for viewing. And now we're going to listen to a slope song. Start with a point, then rise, 
interpreting the slope as a rate of change. So here's a graph that shows the calories burned by dancing as a function of time. Maybe you were dancing to that catchy tune. The slope of the line gives the number of calories burned per unit of time, which is the rate of change. In calories burned with respect to time, find the calories burned per minute. Let's find the rate of change. So we could definitely use the formula, right? And we want to find the change in y over the change in x. So remember that the slope is equal to the rise over the run. And I like to use that little triangle, change in y over the change in x. So we can do our points. Here's number one, here's number two. So we can take y2 minus y1 and put that all over. x2 minus, sorry about that, x1 so we'll get 250 calories over 50 minutes. And if we simplify, we get 5 calories per minute. So dancing burns 5 calories per minute, according to this graph. 